Part B, given that n belongs to n, set of all natural numbers, deduce in terms of n the number of real solutions of the equation, part 1, 2 cos x equals tan x. The limit is negative 90 degree to 360 n degree. And part 2, tan x equals negative 3 over 2. And the limit is from 9, minus 90 degree to 360 n degree. This question carries two marks. So here they want you to find the total number of solutions of this equation within this interval. So if you are wondering what is this, how I am going to solve this, I am going to break it down into simple terms. First, when they say 2 cos x equals tan x, they are talking about a point of intersection of 2 cos x and the tan x. So point of intersection we have 1, 2 two points of intersection between minus 90 to 360. But when they say find the solutions, find the number of solutions, they want you to find the number of uh, point of intersection, not from minus 90 to 360, from minus 90 to 360 n. What is this n? This n can be 2, 3, 4, 10 or anything. So let's say if n is 2, this is 2 times 360, which is 720. So if you sketch the same graph till 720 and look at the point of intersection, you see here there is no point of intersection, minus 90 to 0 between the origin. But from 0 to 360, you have two points of intersection. And if you look closely, this is going to repeat here again from 360 to 720. You will have a graph here and then the cosine graph starts from top. It will go again like this. So if you have two points of intersection from 0 to 360, you will have another two points of intersection between 360 to 720. So you will have 2 plus 2, 4 points of intersection. If n is equal to 2, you will have two points here, two points here. If m is equal to three, you will have two, two and another two. You multiply by three. If n equals five, you multiply the point of intersection five times. So you will have ten. So, but the, the value, the particular value of n is not given. So you can find, you can write the number of solutions as two n. Why I am writing two n? Because we have two points of intersection here and in every 360 interval you will have two points of intersection. So if n is 10, you will have 2 times 10 points of intersection. So in general, you will have 2n number of solution. But here you got to be careful about one more thing. Let's say for some other graph, when you sketch some other graph, you got two points of intersection here. Let's say you have another point of intersection between 90 to 0. So you have 2 plus 1, 3 points of intersection. So don't think that uh, the final solution, the number of solution between this interval will be 3n. That's not how it works. If you look closely, you will have one point of intersection here. And from 0 to 360, you have two points of intersection. If you extend this limit, you are going to get not three points, you get two points here, two points here. So from 0 to 360n will be 2n. And you have one extra point here. So this will be the solution if in case the graph intersect from minus 90 to 0. So you need to be very careful. You cannot write just 3n. So you need to look at the graph carefully and determine the number of solutions. In this case, it's 2n number of solutions. Here, tan x equals negative 3 over 2. They want you to find the total number of solutions. That means total point of intersections between this interval. So let's not worry about this cosine graph now. So this is the graph y equals tan x. And you need to sketch this straight line y equals negative 3 over, 4, 3 over 2, which is negative 1.5, should be somewhere here. We sketch the line from minus 90 to 360. So you have one, two, three points of intersection. This is what I was explaining in the previous sum. 
you have three points of intersection. Now, if you extend the limits to 720, that means if you replace n by 2, this becomes 720. So, till 720, here you have two points of intersection from 0 to 360, and from 360 to 720, you will have another two points of intersection. So, 2 plus 2, 4, plus here one extra. So, if you replace n by 10, you will have 2 times 10 plus 1, this one extra one. So, if you don't know the value of n in general, you can write this 2 times n plus 1 because you have one extra here. That's the total number of solutions for this equation within the given limit.